13 foot long python still on the loose. It's becoming an all hands on deck situation in one Oklahoma City Trail Park. It's not just hands. We're talking paws too. Fox 25's David Chasanoff joins us live from the Burntwood neighborhood. So David, what kind of help are we talking about here? Adam and Wendy, the Burntwood community is now looking into other options. After things didn't work out with the first group they brought in to help. And as you alluded to, Wendy, this new effort involves dogs. The Burntwood Trailer Park sent residents this letter saying new wildlife control groups will try tracking down this 13 foot long runaway python. It's a problem Don Brown with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation says is unheard of. Personally, I'm not aware of any type of situation like this um, in, in my career here at uh, the Wildlife Department. According to community manager Justin Gray, an expert will track the snake using two Labrador retrievers. Only one dog will be on a leash. The python is going to be a, an opportunistic predator and they're going to uh, try to uh, take whatever they need to, to eat to survive. Brown says if the python bites a dog, the health consequences may vary. As far as what hazards would be caused by such a snake, um, really it's, it's limited to the bite or, or if it's able to wrap itself around uh, any victim and squeeze it to death. According to the letter, the park also plans to have another wildlife specialist set traps under three homes to isolate the snake. If the snake really has survived this long, um, then certainly it has a place where it's denned up and, and can survive. Trapping is usually the best alternative to um, getting rid of a nuisance wildlife uh, situation. The Burntwood neighborhood tells its residents it hopes to have a solution as early as this week. I just wish them luck in, in uh, you know, rounding up this uh, nuisance in their neighborhood. And no matter how this situation ends, the ODWC wants to remind people that they're always responsible for taking care of their pets and they should never let any invasive species get loose in Oklahoma. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.